Okay, in the last video, we got the lights set up and we got some cool effects running. Uh, this time, I'm going to show you how to make more of your own custom effects. Ready, set, go. All right, the whole point of these lights was to have like totally custom effects. The effects that were included initially were great, but I wanted to make some more unique effects that were all my own. I'm not really a programmer, so it took me a while to decipher everything that was going on in the Arduino sketch. Now here's what I've learned. The easiest customization is actually built into Home Assistant. Home Assistant has a color selector already included in the light function. When you have the lights turned on, just click where it says Holiday Lights, and the color selector just pops up. Uh, there's also a brightness slider. I did notice that some colors, especially the darker ones, uh, look more like what you would expect them to be if you slide the brightness down a bit. Now just click whichever color you're in the mood for. It even changes the little uh, the color of the little icon, the little light bulb icon. That's pretty slick. If you look in the Arduino sketch, you can see which effects are using that color selector. Uh, it's identified as uh, R color, B color, and G color. This color selector controls five of the included effects. Solid, glitter, juggle, sign lawn, and confetti. Those five are, are already attached to that color selector. Uh, I didn't add any new effects that use this color slider. I'm pretty happy with the default ones that they had that do that. But if you want to try it, now you got the tools. Now let's add some new effects. Every time you create a new effect, you need to add the name to the configuration.yaml file in Home Assistant. It's always a good idea to make a backup copy of your configuration file before you change it. If you're using the configuration file from my video on setting up the lights, then you'll find a section that looks like this. This makes the drop-down menu with all the available light effects. Just add a line here with the name of your new effect. Now go to the Arduino sketch. For this one, we're going to copy the BPM effect. That's beats per minute. Select all of this. Make sure to include the last little squiggly bracket. Then find somewhere to paste it. Uh, this is a good spot. Now let's customize some colors. The sketch that I started with from Ben at Bra Automation uses a variety of different methods to assign colors to the different effects. I think the developers of the Fast LED library were probably trying to show all the different ways that you could assign colors, and they did a very thorough job. The first one I'll show you here is how to bring in a color palette. I learned this from an Adafruit tutorial, and the link is here. There. First thing you have to do is find a color palette that you like. There are probably a ton of different places to find color palettes, uh, but this website has plenty. I put a few links in the description to the pages here that I think had the best selection of color palettes. Now you'll need to add this uh, palette knife to your favorites bar. When you've found a palette that you like, click on it, and then click on the palette knife bookmark. This will format the palette to work in an Arduino sketch. Copy the results. Then open your sketch and paste it in with the rest of the palettes. Every palette has a name. Copy the name. You'll need to paste this into the new effect that you're creating. Paste the new palette name over the old one in the effect, and now you're done. Now the next effect we're going to customize is the Police All effect. Go to your sketch, find Police All, and copy it. Paste it in with your other new effects, and change the name to whatever you'd like. Remember to go back to your configuration.yaml file and add the name to your list of effects, just like we did before. Now this effect uses a different method for selecting the colors. We're going to define a starting color named this hue, blah blah blah, choose whatever you like. They called it this hue police. Change it in these two places. Now we assign our new hue a color. Find the place in the sketch where this hue police is defined. This effect uses the hue saturation value method for defining colors. This zero right here corresponds to a hue value. This image shows the standard hue values. Zero is red. Now copy this line and rename it using the name you just put in your new effect. Using this hue scale image, pick one of the colors you want to use. For this effect, you only get two colors. It doesn't really matter which one you start with. I want purple, so I'm going to put 192 as my hue value. Now we go back to our effect. We're going to change this value to give us our second color. I want mine to go from purple to pink, so I go back to the hue scale. Pink is 224. The difference between 224 and 192 is 32. Back in the sketch, I want this value in the parentheses to equal 224, so I put 32 here. What we're doing here is defining that hue. We have this hue and we have that hue. 
Okay, that's it, this one's done. All right, we've already got three methods for changing the colors. We've got one more to go. This one's my favorite, I saved the best for last. Okay, first thing we'll do is find this section where we're defining values for CRGB palette 16. Grab one of these lines, copy it, and paste it right here. Now change the name to whatever you want. Now scroll down a little and find this section, copy and paste it. For this method, we get to use color by name. Just go find a list of HTML color names and choose the colors that you like. Put the names of the new colors here. For this effect, you can use up to four colors. The default only used two. I have a couple effects that I put together where I use three, but I haven't actually used four. Now find the candy cane effect section and copy it. Paste it with your other new effects and change the name. Remember again to go back to your configuration.yaml file and add the name to your list of effects or you won't be able to select it. Now change the name of the palette here to whatever you used when we defined the CRGB palette 16 in the first step. Now one more step. Find this void function, set up blah 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 blah, and copy everything here. Okay, paste it right below here. Change the name in these two places to match the names that you used earlier. It's probably a good idea to use something simple, just add one word or change the name in one place so that you don't get too mixed up. Ah, see here? I forgot to change the name. The last part of this one is arranging how we want these colors to show up in a line of 16 LEDs. There's a section here where we assign a bunch of A's and B's. Remember when we set up those color names? This is where we did it. Okay, now go back to the A's and B's. The four locations for colors are represented here by A, AB, B, and BA. Now, in the line below, we can lay out how we want these colors arranged. Each letter here sets one LED to that color that corresponds to the letter, either A, AB, B, or BA. There are 16 LEDs in this animation. The pattern you set here repeats down the line of LEDs. You could add a fourth color, just to find the color name in the last spot then use BA in the place you want that color to show up. That's it. We're done. Okay, there you have it. Now you've got all the tools that you need to be able to make whatever kind of custom crazy effects you like. I've included my latest sketch with all the effects that I came up with. When you go make your own cool custom effects, uh, please come back and share them in the comments. In the next video, we're going to talk about garage door openers. Oh yeah. Okay, thanks. Adios. This image show blah, blah, blah. this ugh. assigned those different colors. Oh, gosh, is it? For this method, we get for this method. There are sixteen LEDs in this. Um, there are sixteen LEDs in this animation. Oh, this is horrible. These two places to match the names you change. Blah, blah, frick. Oh. If you've done your own cool effects, come on back. Shh.